Swapping two variables in JavaScript is actually something that you fairly commonly need to do, especially in things like coding interviews, and there's actually a pretty cool trick to be able to do it. So here we have A and B, and we log out A and B, and we can see we have one and two. And of course, we could do something like, say, A equals B, but now if we wanted to say B equals A, this isn't going to work because both become two, because we set A to be B, so A is now two, and then we set B to be A, but A was already two. So we need to actually do something like let temp equal A, and then we could come down here and say B equals temp, and this would actually work. But this is just a lot of code. So there is actually another way we can do this that utilizes destructuring. So what I'm going to do is have this array syntax and say we have A comma B is going to be equal to, and then another one of these array syntaxes, and b comma a, and then I'm going to run this and you can see it does work. So a is two and b is one. And the way this is actually working is first we start on the right hand side. So we are creating a new array with the values b and a. And then on the left hand side, we are destructuring that array. So we are taking the values from the right and putting them into these variables on the left, which are our a and b variables that we already created. Now, of course, there's a trade off here in efficiency. So if that matters a lot in your application, you probably don't want to be creating arrays for no reason. But most of the time, especially if we're using JavaScript, it's probably not a major concern. And this is just a nice, concise way to do this. 